You're listening to the audio-only version of Cocktails with Cav, the popular video cast streamed live only on X. Follow us here on Spotify or on X at Cav Literature. Oh, happy Thursday, everybody. I am so excited sliding into the weekend with another great episode of Cocktails with Cav. Tonight, have a great, great show with Arthurian fantasy author Jerry Cook coming to us from beautiful Johnson City, Tennessee in the Appalachians. Uh, got an incredible book promo going on uh, for his Arthurian tale. And you're going to want to stick around and hear this. And so please follow, like us, hit the notification bell so you never miss a show. And make sure you share our shows and repost them. Uh, let out everybody get to know these incredible indie authors entertainers and artists that that come on the show as a guest uh we appreciate it and i tell you i'm still here i survived the mardi gras holiday in new orleans i (laughs) i don't know how but i did so i'm still here had too many cocktails but I, i think it's only fair that's the name of the show too so <laughs> but geez and we got so much exciting news too i'd like to share with you next week we're gonna have a new set for the show gonna be incredible and we also we're getting some sponsors y'all it's gonna be great i we're taking off and it, it's really i can't thank the audience enough you guys have, have been so good to us we really really appreciate you so the show is moving along i tell you And one more bit of business, please. Let me give a special shout out to our guest on episode nine, K.E. Jennings. She's an incredible debut author and I'm just real excited for her today. Uh, Today's her pre-order day launch. Uh, If you have a Kindle device, please go check her out at kejennings.com. Her book, The Only Ones Left is is available now for pre-order as of today so just some more exciting news and a special shout out to to one of our former guests what a great interview we had if you haven't had a chance to check out episode episode nine please do so go check her out ah well that that's it for all the business please check out our merch page great swag great way to support the show and as always Consider supporting the show at our tip function. QR code will be up all show long. Take you straight to it. We'd really appreciate your support. Well, without further ado, please help me welcome to the stage the incredible Arthurian fantasy author, Jerry T. Cook. Hey, how you doing, Jerry, man? I am so glad you could finally join us for the show. I've been wanting to talk to you about your you work and your new work, man. How you been? Oh, I've been pretty good. You know, busy, real busy working. <laughs> That's it. Huh? Well, how, how's how's everything going in, in the beautiful Appalachians there in Johnson City, Tennessee? You doing all right? Oh yeah, yeah. Keeping along. You know, it's been pretty pretty chilly, pretty chilly lately. You know, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have the cold. I'm done. Well, that's why we warm up with cocktails, buddy. On cocktails yeah, with cool. Cav. That's uh, <laughs> what you have over there. It, that, that looked very interesting. Oh yeah, that is some Eagle Rare. Ah, Eight, ten years. That, that, that is a beautiful. A beautiful drink to have on cocktails and cab, my friend. <laughs> fancy, man. <laughs> That's right, fancy. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'll tell you, Jerry, I, you know, as a sci-fi author and all that, we really like to, the viewers to get to know the creators, man. They, us, you know, indie creators work so hard. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself, man, and how, how life up in, the, in those beautiful mountains are? Well... You know, honestly, I started out in California. Um, I moved up here about two years ago. And uh, I've been a stay-at-home dad and, you know, working on my books and stuff. And I, I probably probably get about, uh, I don't know, an hour a day if that to work <laughs> on them. But <laughs> I try, you know. Oh, yeah, as an indie creator, look, you, you have to fit in, fit it in when you can, and especially being a stay-at-home dad. How'd you find your way to eastern Tennessee from California, bud? Oh, man, you know what? Actually, most of my family was from here, like, five generations back. <laughs> right. But 
you know, things go, they move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, my wife, she, her family's from here, so we just uh, decided, you know what, let's let's move out of here and let's go to Tennessee. So. Yeah, what part of California were y'all in? Uh, uh, Central California, uh, like Madera, Fresno area. <laughs> oh, I got you. Well, you, you prefer you prefer it out here, out here in Tennessee, or what? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I grew up actually in Mariposa, which is like uh, the mountains there too. It's like uh, probably 30, 45 minutes from Yosemite. Ah. Uh, so, and you know, if you lived in Mariposa, you got free entry to Yosemite and things like that. It was kind of nice, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, <laughs> it was like, uh, I don't know. No, we well, decided we wanted to go live in the mountains instead of the, the valley. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's awesome. I, that is awesome, though, and, and it, it is beautiful country, both places. That's for sure. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, but uh, I tell you what, well we uh yeah when I first got to know you on X man, I, I was just so glad you decided to come on because uh, I know you have uh and I'm not sure you can see it behind us. I, I'll I'll show uh, your link tree. Um, but you you just got had your great books um that that series the structure and i just wanted to uh just definitely have you on and talk about it man because i was fascinated by it but not only that your new book you're working on the ash and lord which we could talk about in a few minutes but uh but yeah by all means please tell us about the structure man oh well, you know what? Hey, let me just say to you that it is a pleasure to be here. It is really nice to get to talk to you and, you know, just get to introduce myself, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, without a doubt. Well, man, I, I appreciate you saying that because I, I, I've just been having such a great time doing the shows and, and meeting the creators and getting insight in, on the process, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, to begin about my book, uh, the, the structure, well, uh, that one there, I started because I had a dream one night uh, about a boy who was on a space structure and all this crazy stuff started happening and he was walking through his dreams and, and I woke up and I'm like, what in the heck? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I just, I was like, I got to write some of this down. So I started writing it down and I was like, man, I could probably make this into a book. <laughs> and um, then I kind of wrote it out and I was like, uh, maybe I'll make it like a mini series. So I decided to make a little mini series and it's they're all about mm, an hour or so to read. Right. Ah, oh, what well, that that's a fascinating backstory on on you know how the inspiration came came to you because we had we you know we're talking with authors inspiration comes from a lot of different ways and and you just had a weird space dream maybe it's that that 10 year old <laughs> yeah. it's uh honestly i blame it on like uh when i was 10 years old i i read this book called uh i think it's through the looking glass right yes through the looking glass by uh, like john john rango <laughs> and uh that book got a lot of like crazy images in my head of aliens right so i'm like man my whole life i'm i got these different pictures of aliens and then like you watch this alien movie and they look different you know <laughs> right just, right like, they're not, not how you expect and then you play games or something and they look different there too <laughs> so just, i don't know now, everywhere is different <laughs> that's amazing though I, I mean it's like yeah yeah hey and like i said inspiration comes from all kinds of different places that's for sure <laughs> oh yeah absolutely oh <laughs> uh, but yeah so when we uh we definitely want everybody to to go take a gander and read them maybe and stuff but uh but yeah t tell us a little bit about the the space structure and all of that because that, that's what fascinated me is like you said when i read the synopsis of the book it was it was so the space structure uh i don't really know how i came up with the name delta psi it was just kind of one of those things uh, <laughs> uh i i i come up with the idea that in the year 2030 <laughs> because I had to come up with a backstory for it. I said 2030. Um, they decided to launch this structure into space to try and save the human race. And uh, the structure only has like, you know, like famous people, 
people who had enough money to be able to get their family on board, things like that. You know, it was like a real private thing. Right. And so they sent it into space, and this is supposedly the last remaining people, like the last remaining humans of Earth. And uh, now there's this strange light that is beaming across the skies that yeah. are man-made skies, okay, mind you, because they're in like an encapsulated structure, right? Um, this this beam of light is killing people, and they're like, what the heck? And then a strange alien comes and visits them, and yeah, they, they go on a, quite an adventure there. <laughs> ah, that, that, that it does. This is, the story's fascinating, I'm telling you. And then, uh, how, how long in between? Because I know you have, um, if I'm not mistaken, you have three books in the series. Yes, I have three right now. Uh, I'm planning on having six in total. Uh, I've got most of them typed out. I'm like going through and editing and trying to work on everything and they're all self-published. So, uh, of course there's probably going to be errors, <laughs> but, you know, I haven't, uh, I haven't gone through and had old Mr. Word refiner himself go through and, uh, you know, uh, that, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I need to do that. You know, uh, he'll, he'll wear the t-shirt just for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it? Uh, why is it so hard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> I don't remember how it and, goes. Again. And people watching the show, you know, are not familiar with the X writing community. They're, they're probably not aware of uh, <laughs> what we're talking about. We're just out in space. But there's a lovely member of the writing community on X, uh, at Mark. And uh, he he's uh, he's very engaged. He's a very friendly guy. And he's 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 he's, he's an editor extraordinaire ogre <laughs> but 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 he's a wonderful guy and helpful but yeah so just to fill the audience in of, of anybody who might not know what the heck myself and, and mr cook here are talking about <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh that's okay it's uh, hey that's what they get for not being on x and being engaged yeah, hey, it's <laughs> definitely the way to go it's fun it's enjoyable uh there's lots of authors there. You can find lots of great books. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you can also find lots of great inspiration and and help uh, because, you know, being an indie creator is just a incredible task within itself, you know. And, 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 and I think uh, I discussed once with a guest just how important it was not necessarily to, to help up and coming authors or you know, present authors tell them what to do, but just the biggest help is to tell them what to avoid. <laughs> the, the, you know, it's, it's like, uh, you know, just try not to let people get ripped off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ab absolutely. And it's just, you know? just no sense reinventing the wheel. It's like, tell you, tell you what not to do. <laughs> that doesn't work. Don't, don't bother, <laughs> you know, so, but yeah. that's true. And then, uh, well, yeah, well, I mean, and of course the first book in the series is fascinating. And then I believe the second one's called the light uh, of Artig Artigasia. <laughs> Did yeah, I say it right? Yep, yeah, you did. You nailed it. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I'm becoming a professional host. I'm winning, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us a little about the second book in the series. Uh, the second book, uh, the second book, our main character, he, he ends up uh, going through his dreams. And he's, uh, well, he ends up in his dreams, okay, in the first book. And he's pushed through a portal and then he ends up dream walking some more <laughs> <laughs> and uh it's it's a really long like dream sequence the second book is uh it, it's not really long okay but i mean it is like an hour read so <laughs> yeah uh, but, uh it is you That's know good. it's Keep it. basically a dream sequence the second the second book you know and then at the end of it he wakes up and he's like oh my gosh all of this is about to happen right now Right, right. And and that's, you know, and I'll tell you what, the length, I'm not, I, it's actually probably a plus in this day and age with people's schedules, you know, it, it's it's to shorten it up into a, to kind of a small mini series, you know, it's a lot of sci-fi books, 
<laughs> you know, the story is is detailed, and it, you know, sometimes you just, you know, so it, I I wouldn't begrudge the lengths at all. And and the third book, I I can't seem to, uh, for some reason, me, I lost it on the <laughs> lost it on the page. You know, as always, that would be me. The but third uh, book is titled Life on Delta Psi. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, great. Yeah, well, thank you, because yeah, for some reason, I'm, I'm not that professional of a host, apparently. <laughs> hey, well, none of us are totally professional. Okay, <laughs> ah, we we we're trying, and and again, it might be the cocktails. I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it, it's uh, what do they call that? Liquid courage. <laughs> yes, yes, we're we're all dropping our inhibitions and learning about. <laughs> well, well, and and. Finally, I, I tell you, I re- I, not only being fascinated by your current work, that again, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't uh, gotten to know Jerry, like I said, splendid guy, great member of the writers community, and uh, you know, just fun to engage and talk with. The, he's at Storytelling Jerry there, uh, without the O on on X. But uh, his his screen name's right there beneath his uh, video for you. But please give him a follow, definitely. And by all means, go check out um, the banner that's up all show long, Jerry. And I don't know if you could see it on your end of, of the video, but up top we have a banner with all three books. And uh, the QR code will take you straight to Jerry's link tree so you can follow along and all all his work and and jerry i really wanted to talk about you have a great work in progress um called the ashen lord and i know you have a kickstarter going for it um i don't i don't know if you can see it uh the screen behind us but i'll uh pull it up for you and just why don't you go ahead and tell the 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 viewers about that because I was fascinated by what you you're building up as you you're getting the Ashen Lord ready. Well, the Ashen Lord is an Arthurian tale. It's uh, set 15 years after Arthur's supposed death in the Battle of uh, Camlan. I, be- I believe that's what it's called, Battle of Camlan. Um, it's gonna have Mordred as the main main big bad you know uh we've got our main character who is a peasant boy who watches his friend get cut down right in front of him and takes up the sword that his friend the blacksmith just made and takes off running and gets post on this journey to become a knight (laughs) Ah. and uh he ends up thrust into the story of arthur um against his will and uh don't want to tell too much more don't give no yeah, spoiler yeah, alerts don't buddy get, don't want to get too much there yeah no, no spoiler alerts at all but, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> no it certainly sounds like a fascinating story too and and the kickstarter uh you have going um i know we had we had talked a little on X. Uh, you kind of got a surprise for the viewers out there on on your Kickstarter, oh. right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I have uh, reward tiers for people. If you donate to the Kickstarter, you're able to get like a digital version of the book, uh, just a physical copy, or you can get a signed physical copy. Or I have a high, the highest tier reward, which is a thousand dollars. And it is a hand-forged uh, recreation of the Claymore Weaver from the story. And it's a 42-inch uh, hand-forged blade. It's going to be forged by Brandon Franklin from Forged in Fire. He was on Season 8, Episode 41. Or at least I, I believe. Right, right. <laughs> don't hold you to it. <laughs> oh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> you know, but uh, he uh, he does great work. Uh, everything else that he's done so far has looked beautiful. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. So. Oh really yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I mean, it's uh, yeah. No kidding. A hand forged sword from from somebody from Forged in Fire on a TV show. That, that's going to be a beautiful piece of work and, and a great way 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you if you could sp- consider in uh, <laughs> great yeah. indie works and creators and in our struggles or whatever, hey, not asking for something for nothing as a Kickstarter for the for his great new work in progress, the Ashen Lord. Those swords are going to be, uh, <laughs> I think, something special. And you know what? Uh, to add more to it, there's going to only be five of them. They're each going to be hand forged, so they are each going to be unique in their own respect. Um, also, the price is going to be a thousand dollars. It's going to be a physical <laughs> copy of the book, a digital copy of the book, and then the sword as well. And the physical copy is going to be signed. And uh, what else was I going to say? I lost where I was going. <laughs> uh, shoot! Just Eagle. the sword gets. Hey, if I give you twenty bucks, will he forge me a flask? For my cocktails? He might. He might. You never know, man. <laughs> that is, that's awesome, though, Jerry. I'll tell you what. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'll tell you what. It's something to consider because, uh, one, I, I knew his talent from the TV show on Forged and Fire, but this is going to be uh, something special from I from mean, the best selling, the soon to be well. best selling novel, Ash and Lord by Jerry wow. Cook. I, I, I would only hope, but <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. No, Jerry, I tell you what, that is really a, 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 again, ladies and gentlemen, consider that because that that that's wonderful Kickstarter and and some really incredible uh, uh, gifts for anybody who wants to help the indie creators as we're on his task, you know. So it's definitely something to consider. Another thing as well, the thousand dollars. That's I mean, that's just the sword <laughs> yeah yeah you know <laughs> so i mean i'm really just kind of giving the book away with a sword if somebody <laughs> buys it it's like uh, you know no i i, uh, I tell you it's yeah, not i know it's tight right now so <laughs> yeah yeah well i'll tell you it's not a unworthy endeavor though trying to get the creation going especially a stay-at-home dad uh what do you have three children just one. Oh, just one uh yeah, yeah well one. uh well hey i it, it's it's difficult. <laughs> Ch- children are wonderful. That's why God made them cute. So you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I told my friend. I said, look, man. He was getting ready to have his kid, his first kid. He's like 33. You know. I'm like, hey, man. Uh, you know, just just be ready. You know, because there's gonna be times that you're gonna feel like I want to throw you so bad, but don't do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, you'll get it. And he texts me and he's like, I get it, bro. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> like, like, it happens, man. You know, you're just like, oh, God, what? I, I, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, that's right. And cocktails with clay, uh, Cav disclaimer. Uh, yes, we love children. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, yes, definitely. I love my daughter so much. They're, they're yeah. fun. To, I'll tell you what, they, they teach you so much what I found when mine were younger, because mine are grown now. So obviously I'm relaxed which is why i probably drink so much you know as uh, i've gone through their teenage years but uh it's uh yeah you you find they really do in the end inspire you into a different mindset of just how amazing i you know not not to toot my own horn but i've 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 done a lot of things and seen a lot of things in life, you know, and uh, still nothing, nothing I've ever done was <laughs> was worth that. You know, it was, you know, the kids were the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand that, man. Uh, it is the biggest blessing of my whole life as my daughter, for sure. <laughs> that, that's it. And she's going to. Oh, and you got I had two daughters to two. They they had me rap. They, they knew exactly how to get daddy to do everything <laughs> her, her thing right now is screaming <laughs> uh, oh yeah well I, hey, it'll get there she'll learn soon enough to just bat her eyes at you and talk sweet daddy can you i talk yeah. first here, here here's my wallet Jake, go ahead <laughs> yeah <laughs> go ahead here's the keys take it yep that that'll be it that'll be you man <laughs> that's it for sure <laughs> oh man well jerry look man i tell you it's been a pleasure having a little cocktails with you and and talking about life in the appalachians up there where you're relaxed sort of <laughs> raising your child but uh 
But no, Thank man, you. your great work. Ladies and gentlemen, please give Jerry a follow on X. He really is. Like I said, I got to know him on X. Wonderfully engage with and talk with a uh, great member of the writers community. Storytelling Jerry. Go get, go ahead and give him a follow. And by all means, go check out the QR code. Take you, like I said, straight to his uh, link tree where you'll be able to get to all his incredible work that he already has out uh, the structure series uh, as well as uh, his Kickstarter for his new project the Ashen Lord which is going to come with those incredible swords that uh, he's actually having hand forged from the from the celebrity forged in fire <laughs> should be amazing <laughs> it, it really was you got to promise Jared to let let me uh, show it on the show or something. Maybe we can link you in, and uh, when one of them's ready. Well, uh, the the one that I I'm hoping to have made for myself is going to be a battle ready, so it's going to be sharpened and everything. They're all supposed to be like a Damascus steel, uh, for the most part, Damascus steel and uh, ashwood grip and a 42 inch blade. So wow. they're gonna, they're going to be pretty pretty big, you know. Oh yeah, uh, the one that I'm gonna have is gonna be just mostly for promotional, probably wall art mostly, you know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> of course, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just like, man, uh, what can I do to really make this, you know, a, a, a more more of a real thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, and no, and that's I'll tell you what, nothing more beautiful than seeing your creation kind of have some realism. <laughs> And, oh, you yeah. know, come out of it. But uh, yeah, you got to promise to come, you know, come back on briefly and show it. Show us one of them when they're ready. No, I definitely will. Oh, awesome, Jerry. Awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, it's been fun tonight with author Jerry T. Cook. Please go visit his uh, link tree and get to his uh, current works, the structure series. Uh, and and please also consider his, his Kickstarter and the Ashen Lord project and the those swords and jerry my friend hope you have a great rest of the evening try not to sip that gently i i know what pinky out that's right pinky out 